All right, then. Waiting on the homie to come in. There go the homie. There go the homie. I just sent you the microphone, man. I just sent you the microphone. You should be able to get it. You gave me the co-host, but you want me to uh, go just to speak or? Yeah, no, 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 you good, you good, you good right where you at, right where you at. You good right where you at, because don't nobody uh, unblock shit for me and you, they don't. Uh, so I know you might have some people blocked or whatever, it don't matter. They can watch, they can listen to the replay. They can cry in the timeline. They can do whatever they want. Uh, but uh, I've just, you know, was aware of, become aware of, you know, a, 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 a talking point where they saying that, uh, you know, that's just a beef with what with, with, with Shana Na Pan uh, That's just a beef between us since he threatened my family, uh, threatened me on more than one occasion. It's not even up for debate. Anybody that try to say, oh, he didn't do it, after he do it every time, every time somebody asks him, he do it again. So please, with the bullshit, that's not going to even fly. Yeah, he he, he been threatening, you know, and I done said on different occasions what he just said and all this. And, and things of that nature. Now, motherfuckers want to say to me, that's just between y'all. But just like I said before, if it's just between us, if you ain't got shit to do with this man threatening my family, talking about something going to happen to me, something going to happen to mine, all the way down, he named off different relatives, your aunties and your, your mama and your sisters and your grandkids and your kids, he named them all. He went all around the, the family tree talking about something going to happen. Not if it's going to happen, that it's going to happen. That's what he said to me. And I don't give a fuck which one of you niggas believe it or don't. It really don't matter because he know and I know. So all the lying and, and the weird fiction niggas come up with, you know, it don't mean shit to me. I tried to squash it with the little buddy. Three times, three or four times, and the little motherfucker didn't do nothing but triple down and double down on his threats. You know, that's what he did. So my thing is this. Uh, since he wanted this with me, he wanted this with me. I avoided him. He wanted this with me. So now I'm giving him what he wants. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show everything that he's been doing for the last five years. Uh, you just showed where he was pulling up at the pan June 10th in 2021. But he said he don't fuck with a hoo Well, that's a whole a whole hoo pull up. Juneteenth celebration. You just he just left up out of he just left up out of um 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 BMX, which is a whole pan organization. He's still on their website as the person who, you know, is running things over there at BM. BMX, that's a black men's exchange. You know, uh, 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 and all this. So, since he want to threaten my family and shit, I'm going to put the nigga resume out there for you. Nigga got a hell, hell of a resume. But we're not going to pretend like we delineating from pain. That's what we're not going to do because that's what he is. That's why he was so geeked when, 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 when he thought that folks were going to link up with Naheem. That's why he was so But like I say, niggas want to say, oh, that's just between y'all. Oh, well, guess what? If it's just between us, everybody else needs to shut the fuck up. If it's just between us, when I say something about that motherfucker, or when I'm going in on that motherfucker, I don't want to hear shit from no other motherfucker. Because if I do, if, if, you know, I get a lot of people coming to me. You need to stop this. You need to stop. Nobody told that man to stop. Uh in me and my family and shit. 
Nobody told him to stop running his mouth like that. And if I let his little wolf ticket, his little feedless, great wolf ticket selling ass, if I let him get away with it, all you niggas would do it. All you niggas would do it just for fun. So, no, I'm going to treat him just like he's a, a, a worthy opponent. And, and you know what? The more I learn about him, the more I realize he is a worthy opponent. Everywhere this motherfucker go, he go, he go to the, uh, 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 he go to the, um, African social, African people's socialist party and rise through the ranks to become a prolific, um, article writer, a prolific writer for them. He rose through the ranks, not just any ranks, through their intelligence gathering ranks, they intelligence wing, you know, cause they, they, they feel like they, they, they bowed him. He rose through them ranks to get to be, get the uh, title of uh, Minister of Agitation and Propaganda, and he still holds that title. Um, he still holds that title, uh, even the, because he's a member in good standing, and he's a member in good standing, and he gets all the rights and responsibilities that go with that. To this day, to this day, that's why you know what I'm saying. Man, I done, I done looked at this dude, man. This dude be all on the radio and all kind of good shit. I was like, damn, because he, he but what he did was he fucked up, fucking with me. He should have just left me to fuck alone. He should have just left conscious to fuck alone too. He got a beef with me and brought conscious into it. Conscious ain't had shit to do with it. Conscious wasn't even around when me and him started beating. He hurried up. I said, look at there, Conscious. I said, look how quick it took. I thought that was your man's Conscious. I said, look how quick he threw you under the bus, though. Look how quick. It didn't take no time. And that nigga was talking shit about Conscious. Conscious had said shit to him. So uh, this is going to be recorded. But just for the people coming in, if you see, if you don't want to be involved, and shit and some bullshit you see that's going on, then stay the fuck out of it. Stay the fuck out of it. Now, I heard that some people want to complain. They want to complain and say, leave us out of it. Leave us out of it. We ain't got shit to do with it. Don't put us in it. Okay, well, um, I get that. That's reasonable. You ain't got shit to do with it. And you don't want to be put in it, but but at the same time, stay out of it though. So if I look up, they see I ain't used the little hashtag or nothing. See, that's a tactical difference uh, between me, me and other people. See, I ain't fucking with your little hashtag. I'm fucking with the nigga who I'm fucking with, but it, I do get the point. How you gonna have that man on, on under your hashtag? Talking about beat, running folks into the ground, beat folks into the ground. He bringing his personal beat under the hashtag. He bringing it to the hashtag. So if you don't know, if, if, if anybody come up on here and say they didn't know about that and it's on conscious timeline, I'm, I'm immediately booting you out the room. Because I'm not going for the disingenuous bullshit. I'm not going for the, for the gaslighting dumb shit. Dumb shit time is over. School is out, motherfuckers. School out. You think I'm gonna let that little raggedy motherfucker run around here threaten my family and don't say shit? I don't give a fuck who he run with. Y'all got, y'all got life fucked up. I don't give a fuck if you hang with him. That's you hanging with him. I didn't tell you to hang with him. I told you not to. You did what the fuck you wanted to do. Like you got a right to. And I got a right to, you know, take up for myself. But back to what I was saying, he went under the hashtag was that they're talking about what he gonna do, who he gonna run down, mentioning our name. That's why the hashtag got brought into it. Now, I wouldn't have done that, but my boy had a point. Because he, he told me I should leave that shit alone. Nah, man. Why they ain't leaving it alone? Why the hashtag could be used to talk about running us down, but it can't be used to bring out these facts? Yeah, you don't want these facts. You want to make up some fiction. So so that you can... They, but the fiction comes in where 
We ain't did shit to nobody. We ain't did shit to uh 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 Van Copa. We ain't did shit to do. Never did nothing to this thing. But try to I, I never did shit to try to avoid this motherfucker now. Cause I already knew what kind of motherfucker that is. Y'all gotta figure it out. Keep living. That's all you gotta do is keep living. Some of y'all ain't live long enough. You're smart. You got a good head on your shoulder. And the only thing you lack is experience. Well, here's your time. Here's your time. Keep anybody that, that's cool with you and you fond of him, I encourage you to keep fucking with him. I want you to keep fucking with him. I hope you keep fucking with him. While you're sitting around complicit when this motherfucker talking about what he's going to do to me. Motherfuckers complicit. They don't want to talk about that. Nobody in here with their hand up want to talk about uh what the motherfucker, what they gonna say. Oh, that's on y'all. That's on y'all. Well, let it be on y'all then. When I'm going in on this sorry son of a bitch, don't y'all say shit. Get out of my motherfucking face. Why Why open up spaces to call this nigga out, tell this nigga I'll give you a co-host, cook your dumb ass right here and now. Why I get a bunch of women running up? Why I get niggas that ain't got shit to do with it? Why they always got something to say if it's just between me and cuz? I don't get that. If it's just between me and cuz, then let it be between me and cuz. But I already done beat game though. I know a lot of motherfuckers is complicit. I know a lot of motherfuckers is complicit. I done figured out that he ain't did nothing but said some shit that other motherfuckers wanted to say and didn't have the balls to say. He ain't did nothing but said some shit some of y'all wanted to hear but didn't have the balls to say it your motherfucking self. You know? You want to, you know, for whatever reason. Motherfuckers got a problem with me? Cool, you ain't got a problem with me. I block motherfucker. And be, and be gone. And you can block me. And I bet you never hear me crying about it. I'll never be crying. I won't be offended. None of that shit. Just block me. Because I, hey, clear up my timeline for something that's, that's about something. Anyway... Uh, Conscious, I'm going to let you uh, 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 get the right. next word, and then you can decide who you're going to allow to speak. But when well, the motherfuckers well, talk about what they don't know, as soon as motherfuckers start talking about what they didn't know, they get kicked the fuck out of my room. If you know something, tell me what the fuck you know. I don't want to hear shit about what you don't know. All right, hold on. So, so this is what it is. I said this before. The word, how y'all, is he not with the tribe? That's the thing. Y'all got mad because I used with. Okay, I should have used, I could have curated it better and said he's infiltrating SPT. But if I didn't like lie. I, di- I didn't lie. He is with y'all. Okay. So so and I'm and we and we got facts. We've been putting it on the timeline. The people he just left from fucking with is Rico indicted. They, they, they if they ain't telling on him, they gonna tell on him. If they, 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 he's in the he's in the sealed indictment because he was the one writing articles for Pan Africans as late as 2021. Okay, uh, prolific, prolific, all on the radio, nigga. My nigga's prolific. <laughs> hey, hey, you got to know your enemy, right? I ain't, I ain't hating on that little dude. That boy's prolific in that Pan thing. But let's, not, but, but, but let's not get away from this point. Let's not get away from this point. So it's okay for him to get on, use the hashtag to threaten other advocates, other people that's stomping and doing work. Fuck that. Fuck that's okay. That. It's okay. It's, it's, okay, for, it's okay, okay for him. It's okay to use it to threaten me. Fuck the, hey, it's okay. So that's what, that's what the message I'm getting. I'm getting, it ain't okay to answer some bullshit. It's okay if you want to get on there and talk and throw the security tribe up in the motherfucking thing and say what you're going to run down and beat down and disappear and all this kind of shit. That's what it's for, right? Or no. Or no. I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going I'm to be quiet for a minute and let y'all rock. But don't come with no bullshit. Go ahead, go ahead, Tommy. No go, ahead. go ahead, Tommy, because I did listen to the recorded space and I knew it was going to be nothing but disrespect because that's all that was happening there. 
Yeah, um, it, it was no, it was no disrespect um, that was going on in the room. Um, if you recall, when you was on the timeline, well, when you opted to go on the timeline instead of coming into the space, um, I offered you, you know, five minutes uninterrupted, and like I also told you, had you would have came in the room, I would have gave you and Sankofa, um, the co-host, so that way we could see what what the nitty gritty of it is. Um, the only thing I want to know is, you know, when you when you tweeted that he's on assignment, right? That's a very, very serious claim. I think that that warrants some evidence. That's the that's that's all I want to know. Where is the proof that he's on assignment to to I'm do something? Threat to threat my life. That's the proof. If you need more than that, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. No, I don't know what to tell you. I thought I was I'm going to give it to you. No, 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 most of the time, you don't get the actual paperwork until you already doing time and they give you your package while you sitting behind bars. But when the streets know a motherfucker a snitch, you put the motherfucking word out and niggas need to listen. If they don't listen, they going down with them. And I'm trying to tell y'all the proof is in the pudding. The proof is on my timeline. He was just rocking with people that was indicted. That's why he had to get scared of us because we know what's going on in St. Louis. Them affinity groups, Yuhuru, they got flipped on by all the white leftists. And now the, all the top guys that he was very close to because he was a top official is indicted. And they tell him. And, they, and he was right there with him. He, they were colluding with Russians. And he was writing these articles. But, but conscious, conscious, I hear you on that. But this is my only question to you. Did anybody that is a part of that organization name drop him and say, this nigga told on me? If them niggas cut, this shit just happened last year. If them niggas cutting deals. Now, hold on, Conscious. Hold on, hold on, Conscious. Hold on, hold on, brother. Now, we talk about being disingenuous. Okay, so that's a disingenuous statement because I'm from the street just like you from the streets. If a nigga get locked up with another nigga, they both get arrested. They go downtown on Monday, and one of them niggas get out on Tuesday for snitching. His name is gonna be on that other nigga paperwork, man. So again, this is my thing. I'm not for people sending threats on over the internet. I think all of y'all know that I was targeted as somebody. You know, saying who 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 people threaten and stuff like that. I'm not for that. But what I'm saying is this: because secure the tribe got brought into this respectfully. And you nah, they jumped into this. Nobody brought no, anybody into anything. Jumped into it. Immortal, you jumped immortal, into immortal, it with both of you. Like you're doing now. Conscious used conscious used the secure the tribe hashtag. Now he used it first. He used it first. Brother, he used brother, it first to come brother, out. Listen, so you talk, brother, you keep interrupting me. You you being disingenuous right now. Can I can I speak? He yeah. used the hashtag first so your point brother, is no. Brother, listen, what I'm saying is this. What I saw, I can't speak on something I did not see. The, well, the go tweet, see it. And then speak on it. Go see it first the and tweet, then speak the on it. We're not going to go for the bullshit saw, today, sir. Listen, We're no man, bullshit the today. Saw, it's no bullshit because I just asked a question. I didn't get an answer to, so I'm going to re-ask the question, okay? Secure the tribe got brought into this. And what, what Brother Conscious said was, he said Sankofa is on assignment. Then he said he's a rat. So my question to you is this: yeah, Has anybody, right. has time. anybody, has anybody in the Yahoo or any of those organizations that you're talking about, have they publicly or privately come out and said this nigga Sakofa snitched on me? If they didn't do that, what they, if they didn't, what the fuck do that got to do with me? If they didn't, what the fuck do that got to do with me, sir? Bring you in this. I, I'm not even talking about you. I don't I'm give a fuck what you Huru say. I, I, I need you Huru to tell me what the fuck I already know. Listen, man. Okay. I don't trust what the fuck they say one way or another. If they said he snitched, I wouldn't believe it. And if they said he didn't, I wouldn't believe it. Fuck Huru. I know what I'm going off of what I'm witnessing. Okay. 
That's what, okay. So listen. So where is your proof, brother? Because people could say that they saw something. Or say um, they saw something. If you need more proof, then then he threatened me unprovoked. If you need more proof than that, so, okay, if, no, you okay, proof, if you need more proof, if you need more proof, if, if wait, I'm answering your question. I'm wait, answering your question. You ask the questions though. When, once you hit that, once you once I see that question mark, you are done until I can give you your answer. You well, are done. Once you, you, you hit that question minutes, mark. Bro. Well, you've been, you've been interrupting. You don't want no answers. Minutes. You just want to ask questions. Go ahead, then. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. Him threatening you—that's a totally separate issue from when consciousness is saying he's on assignment against the cure the tribe. So what I came into the room to get clarity on is if he's on assignment. Where is the documentation? If you show me the documentation, I'll probably stop fucking with this nigga right now. I you know, do, you, do, you know the seal, do you know where the seal is? I don't work for the FBI. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Because he, he, everybody's going to play dumb and ignorant. I don't work for the FBI. So I can't pull his confidential informant papers for you, sir. Because I don't work for them. So how do you know I just get around. Sir, because I have common sense, when I look at the indictment, I see what are they mad about? What is the problem? You know what it says in the indictment? It talks about motherfucking articles with verbiage from the Russians that the, the, the government wants to pros, pros, persecute them over. Are they really being persecuted? I really don't believe in the case that the government is bringing. But nonetheless, everything he was doing is listed in there. So why, and he was one of the most prolific ones to do it. So now, and he left right around the time when they started becoming investigated. This, this is what I go off of. So if you think I'm finna sit here and try to play all these weird games or what prove it to you, I don't give a fuck if it doesn't prove it to you. I don't give a fuck you don't believe it. Do you understand? Just like I didn't give a fuck if, you, if niggas didn't believe that uh, Star Major was working for the FBI. And niggas, a lot of niggas didn't until he called him on the fucking phone. I don't give a fuck if you don't leave it, man. Yeah, I don't have to lie about it. That's a, first I don't have to lie about Major, it. Sir Major is in a totally different universe. I think we all... No, 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 he's so, not. Let's, let's not give him that nigga up. Everybody knows Sir Major is next level. Right? This, this is my question to you. This is my question to you. Even if a said document, a person's name has to be on that. So this is my thing. How are you gonna sit up here? And again, I'm not. I'm not for anybody. Same way the motherfucker sat up here and threatened my family. That's how I'm doing it. I'm doing it the same way. Okay, so because he threatened. Now go talk family. to him about threatening oh, my family. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on bro. Hold and on, stop hold talking on. to me hold about on. what the fuck I'm saying. Hold on. Go bro. talk to him hold about on. that. Stop no, talking to me no, about. No, I'm talking to you. I'm in your room right now, brother. Respectfully, I'm in your room. I so, told you what you know, to just do. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, brother. Let 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 let's be civil for one second. So him threatening your I'm family. Being civil. I'm being yeah. civil. I'm not being uncivil to you. I'm just not okay. allowing you to. So him, him, so him threatening your family. The the, uh -huh. the the proper response is for you to say that he did something that you have no proof of. How does that make you any better than him, sir? That's in your mouth. If that's what you think that the, what proves it to me don't prove it to you, that's your problem. I got so proof. I just told you. I just told so you. Number one, it? proof. Proof number one. The motherfucker threatened my family. So because somebody threatened your family, that means that they yeah. They and then proof they number two. Everything in our indictment is his activity. It's what Brother, the fuck you break you break Brother, it up. Everything, everything in the indictment, basically, every okay, so if you were selling dope and they caught and, and and you got caught with the dope, you did it. And the indictment got him writing articles for the Russians for Yahuru. That's in the indictment. So you don't think they came and got so the nigga? Is his name on paper though. That's what I'm trying to understand. I want to be in the know. If this nigga's really working with them people, let me know. Show me the proof, and I will stop fucking with this nigga immediately. What y'all are, what y'all are basically saying is because he was with them and he's no longer with them. That means that he did some shady shit. That doesn't make any sense. 
It don't make sense that the indictment talks about it's articles and he was writing articles. Okay, all right, it's it's not going to ever make sense to him. Because he, he, he got no interest in... Hey, hit the mute button. Son. I'm glad you got hit the mute button. Hit the mute button in this thing. Wait, can we hit the mute button in this motherfucker? Because I'm not going to be poking around and talking through goofy talk. Just hit the mute button if you got it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, proof. Nigga want proof. Nah, cause you ain't gonna get the Bible. It's not Bible time. Cause I don't have time to hold this open all day. You want proof? Cause I said, number one proof. He threatened my family. If that does not prove it to you, fuck you. Get your ass, get your weird ass the fuck away from me. And just block me up. Just get, you know, if that don't prove it to you just by yourself, get the fuck. Number two. He lied and said he wasn't associated with them no more since 2018. My man just showed you he was pulling up Juneteenth with the Uhuru. And it's more footage of him pulling up with the uh, Uhuru-affiliated groups, uh, stomping for, hey, I got to give it to him. He was stomping for uh, Ozone then. That was in 2021. Stomping for Ozone with Uhuru. The the pictures out there came out the round time around the same time the footage that conscious got out there. So you lie about your fucking association with the why you gotta lie? What's the lie about? Oh, I don't fuck with them since twenty eighteen. Oh, I got you here right here, twenty twenty one, pulling up with Uhuru is a is a is a collection of groups. Uhuru is not just one thing. It's a collection of, of different affiliated organizations. It's the Huru movement. You understand? They're an they're an affinity group. Yeah, and so you, you've got all these groups, Narkin and Cobra. They fuck with Uhuru. You got um, African People's Socialist Party. You got uh, Black. Uh, 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 what is that? Uh, what they what they call it? You know, the other one that got indicted after he got through fucking with them. Black Box out of out of Atlanta. I just said their name. And all that. Black Hammer. Black Hammer, right. He was fucking with them. Bro, oh, we'll prove it. Get your ass the fuck away from me. Because go fuck with him. You want some proof? Keep fucking with him. Keep fucking with him. I don't have to, I don't give a fuck what you think. I don't give a fuck if you don't believe it. I don't give a fuck. He lied. We got him on camera with pulling up with Uhuru. He lied to you. And so did Elon. And so did Shanana Pankofer. He lied to you and told you he wasn't with them group. So if you were, if you still pulling up with him in 2021, why you lie and say you, you was gone in 18? Yeah, you left the African People's Socialist Party, but you far from left Uhuru, the Uhuru movement. And any groups that you was affiliated, you still in good standing with. That's what he is. Prove it to me. And Fuck you. And let's Here's not, and let's not get away no, no, from the just, fact. Here's your proof. Fuck you. If that don't prove it to you so far. You want some more proof? Oh, everything in the indictment that they're complaining about, he was doing. Why you got, Why y'all trying to make me dry snitch on this man? Prove it to me. Read the fucking indictment. Go study your boy. If that's your boy... Go, go, go look, look out. Oh, you can't look at them no more because they got smart and took all them goddamn articles down that he used to want people to see, but didn't want people to see no more. I'm glad I showed them when I had a chance. I'm glad I made the quotes out of them because they ain't up there on the, uh, the burning spear.com no more. Go look at the indictments. What are people being indicted for? Because of the wording in their articles. That was one of the main things they had a problem with political uh, shit that was going on uh, as far as elections. That's one of the main things they had a problem with. He was right in there with them. She is saying, Kofi himself, he was there when they, when they met the Russians. He said that himself. He'll lie to you about it. But he told me. He told me he he would left right. He was fucking with the Russians and then he left. He smelt some shit or they came to him and he got the fuck up and he started coming in, infiltrating STT. And then the nigga that brought him in, me, 
This nigga tried to uh, start coming at me for no reason, and he started misusing the call to action. So don't don't come at me for reacting and, and, and then taking my time to really go in on him because I told the nigga to handle me in the back channel on that too. So if it's a problem with bringing other people in and all that, everybody got something to do with it, stay the fuck out of it. I don't fuck with little buddy. Little buddy fuck with me the wrong way. It's up and it's stuck with me and little buddy. He dirty. He's dirty. He he's a liar. He goes around lying and he's dirty. I don't have any reason not to let anybody know that. I'm going to let everybody know it that'll listen. He's dirty. He's a liar. Um, I, I, I have reason to believe and I do believe that he um, cooperates because everywhere he go, he went to uh, uh, African People's Socialist Party, dipped up out of there. They under investigation. Black Hammer, he went up in there, dipped. They up every, under investigation getting prosecuted. Everywhere he go. Then he then he ran to Baltimore to go fuck with the BMX, Black Men's Exchange, make sure the AIDS, that the, 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 these these immigrants that come in here with AIDS on them, these black immigrants that come in here with AIDS on them, make sure they get rough condoms to fuck. And gonna do that until he heard about motherfucking tribe. And then he started his Dr. Florida Water motherfuckers uh, 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 page in April of 2022. Jump straight in on, on tribe dick. So you jump straight off of Pandit, DMX, that's affiliated, that's a Hulu. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That nigga, that nigga. And, his, and, he, and he still, he's still the national outreach coordinator for BMX, the Black Man Exchange, a part of a Hulu. He ain't took it down. You can go to the website right now. He's sitting right there. If he disavowed and he wasn't fucking with him or he res resigned for them, why he's still on there? I want to let Sister Cloud go because she got her hand up. Go ahead, let her go because she ain't spoke. Well, I just wanted to come and offer my uh, opinion on the Uru group. I don't know about Sankofa, um, so I'm not going to speak on him. But I will say that there's been a lot of information coming about coming out about the affinity groups and how the black affinity groups got caught, which is the it's not the reparations movement, but it's the Uru groups reparation movement, if that makes sense. So I, I'm assuming that there are two different reparations movements going on at the same time. Um, that's just from my own observations. But the Uru movement got indicted because of the white affinity groups getting caught talking about their plans to um, influence elections. And so then they got caught in 2020, 2019, 2020. And then you see all of these indictments come down on the black affinity groups. And so um, that information was not forwarded to the FBI. And that, and that, I just want to say that it's very serious. The, the, the woman who, who um, exposed the white affinity groups like Extinction Rebellion, Momentum, the Sunrise Movement, BLM, um, <clears throat> Uh, shut down DC. There, there's, there's all these. It's over a thousand affinity groups. First of all, and they're all like social justice, like Green New Deal, climate justice, reparations, like all of those uh, groups fit into the quote unquote affinity groups classification. And what happened is, is that they rolled on the black affinity groups that information was forwarded to counter terrorism and in military intelligence and so when you look at the indictment for the Uru group and their affiliates it's very that it, that ain't no regular shit and so i would just say this if sankofa is linked in with the Uru group in any type of way shape or format he needs to separate himself from that shit like 100 percent and not tippy toe around that shit because he could potentially have somebody pull up at his door you know what I'm saying and that's just looking out for for the family like you know I don't follow Sankofa you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day I don't want to see nobody black get wrapped up in some shit because white people got caught up and now they're just like on some play play shit thinking that shit ain't real it really is real like the Uru group first of all it's the, the black dude, which I can't remember his name, but then it's three other white people that got indicted. So even in that situation with the Uru group, 
they was linked in with white people and white people rolled on them and got them fucking indicted and now they're facing 20 years they just did a fundraising for their legal defense and so why niggas is going around on this app you know the pan africans is going around on this app playing talking about we need to come together no the fuck we don't y'all need to address this shit with the old group first Listen, they, was, listen. they was pushing a whole reparations agenda at the at the <clears throat> reparations commission uh, on the HR forty several years back. You got people from NARC and in Cobra sitting there shouting out the African People's Socialist Party, shouting out Uhuru, shouting them out as a as as a as a um, go back and look at it for yourself and uh, a strapping them. I hate to call it strapping strapping them. You know what I'm talking about? It, it's strapping them. Uh, did a show on it on YouTube and talked and just went through the connections from the narcs and then cobras to the to the, all these uh, different affinity groups, including the African People's Socialist Party and others. So um, you went out because of them. Uh, and Trudy be all in the mix, um, and uh, all from different countries and shit. Not just Russia, Sweden, all kind of places. They got people uh, that could have been associated with for over a decade. And every time, uh, what I'm saying, and I'm, what I'm saying is this: people can say, "Well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about this, and I don't know about that." Well, let me tell you what I do know. So here, don't nobody know after I done said it. But let me tell you what I know. What I know is. What's written in that indictment? That's what all he was doing. Now, I ain't gonna keep on saying this because I really ain't trying to dry snitch on the little nigga because I don't move like that. And I really do think that the case that they have against them is bogus. You can't tell uh, American citizens what the fuck to say, period. If, if we want to say it, we don't give a fuck who gave us the idea. It's our right to say it. So I think that the case against them is bogus. It's a free case, but that's what they're about. And that's what he about, to keep himself out of trouble. He'll free case. Everything that they complaining about in that indictment, he didn't did it. He didn't did it all. He, he say he was there when the motherfucker, when they hooked up with the Russians. That's what he said out of his mouth. So. Can I, just, can I just say this real quick? I will say this is that. It is more than just the Russians because the white people that got caught, they that were they were representing the French, and and they said that 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 there's the people was the French military intelligence yeah, that was true. over here running plays in America. So it's it's a lot of a lot of crazy now, international. Joe Soros got a whole and he influences places all over the world. Okay, and all these little groups that he got set up, even the one Trudy them got over there. With Gabe and them and all that, they all clicked in together. They all eating out of the. What I'm telling you, and and as far as little, little buddy, um, um, he threatened me for no reason, just because I blocked him, and did a laugh emoji at the nigga when he was talking. And so for that, the the threaten the life of my family, as if I was gonna sit there, and then you know. I ain't no, I ain't no rah rah ass nigga. I, I gave him two, three, four chances to, you know, walk that shit back. Now come down off of that shit, cause we ain't here for that. No, nah, he quadrupled down. He apologized. Oh, I'm sorry, I said it in your space. I'm sorry, I threatened this nigga this way. That okay, okay. So then it's like that, and it's just like that. He can be y'all buddy. Some of the proof that some of these people is looking for, they ain't gonna have it until the FBI knock on NATO for a free case. I know you ain't doing nothing. That's why I tell you, get the fuck away from him. But no, y'all say, that's your man. Okay, have him then. Have him. I'm not, I'm not going to be happy. Laughing and giggling and making fun of the situation. I won't do that. And Hello, uh, you went out again, immortal. But I just want, er, er, I don't know if y'all can hear him, hear me. We can hear you. Okay, so thank you, Cloud. Because we ain't really deep trying deep. to get that nigga locked up. We don't have no business that way. 
We don't have no business that way. But yeah, I got them pulling up, going hard for ozone. With all the with all the pans, all the hurus were there. Different groups and different ones come together. He know what I'm talking about. And all of we them were getting the one chased up. That, that he was at all the uh, all June them, That should have told niggas something like that. Up. I'm not going to slow down for slow niggas. If this shit ain't making no sense to you, shit, you need some more experience then. Get you, go get you some more experience and stop talking shit to me about a nigga who's threatening me. Complicit means you know, but you don't give a fuck. You know when you're going along with it. Now, as far as the hashtag, again, because I ain't going to hold this open forever. As far as the hashtag go, I didn't use it, but Conscious did because, because y'all let him use it to come at us. That's not, that's not safeguarding your brand. That's not safeguarding your, your hashtag. That's not safeguarding it. So I, I don't want to hear that it can be used to, uh, under the banner and you can use that to talk about how you're going to run down and stomp down on us. But it can't be used to answer back stuff like that. Don't tell me you only see it. Go look at conscious uh, timeline. Don't tell me what you don't know. Everybody, well, I don't know. If, if, if you starting off your sentence with I don't know, you need to go ask somebody. You need to go find out. Anyway, go ahead, conscious, man, because I'm going to give it about 15 more minutes. But, but- yeah, but like I said, I just want to. It's it, it's it, people want some insane evidence, like people putting a burden of truth proof down, like a motherfucker prosecuting this nigga. Ain't nobody prosecuting niggas, letting you like everybody want to be free thinkers and have their own opinions. And I'm just trying to tell you how shit works. Is you're not gonna find no paperwork. They're not gonna give it this. That's why they call it confidential informant, hey, niggas. So a fist if you're talking, because I can't hear nothing now. Yeah, they. This is called a confidential informant, man. That's what it is. It's a confidential informant. It's not gonna be nothing on the paperwork to y'all sitting in court looking at each other, and whoever don't get that. You ain't been in. You ain't been around real niggas that's done real shit. Do y'all know they put Big Meech in jail and that they ain't caught that nigga with shit? All they know is he was associated and a nigga said he said he did something with some books. So they don't. That, that shit don't work like that. Ain't nothing that's been. If, if they if they do that, they it's not. It don't work like that. They'll never prosecute a case. They'll never send nobody to jail if they gotta have all of this proof in the public before they bring their case. But we trying to tell y'all the indictment says articles, writing articles, colluding with Russians. And we know for a fact he wrote articles and he was there colluding with the Russians. Don't nobody got a fucking, what, what, what kind of brain science do you need to understand that? It's like too simple that it's easy. So, you know, that, that, that's what I'm saying. And, and like I said, everybody... I, it, I, I was going to have a space later, but they pressing the issue. Ain't nobody jackifying the tribe. Ain't nobody throwing jackets on innocent people. But I do work. So I'm not, I, I'm not sitting there putting jacket. I'm putting a jacket on that nigga. My exact words was he is with and he is with the tribe. He is with the tribe on stages, threatening people. He's with y'all with that. If y'all allowing him to do hey, that. put that in the Jumbotron, fam. Put that space in the Jumbotron. All right. Hold on. Because I get tired of niggas and what they don't know and what they didn't see. And I don't know. I didn't see it. And like, that's, like that mean it didn't happen. Man, if y'all don't quit playing with people that's not playing with you, go, go, go and put that in the Jumbotron, man. And as far as the semantics of the word, they know what you meant. Be over there with y'all, however you want to put it. That's y'all. That's your man's. I ain't mad. I am not mad. I'm going to feel bad when you figure out what I know. When you get the proof that proves it to you. <laughs> oh, but then it's going to be too late, isn't it? <laughs> Goofies. It's like, be goofy then. But uh, me personally, uh, the only, uh, if I was you, man, I wouldn't even worry about that. Oh, with oh, and this and that and the semantics, you they know what you meant, man. He over there, you're over there, being promoted, 
being coddled. Uh, you're not being challenged. You're not being chastised for the for your transgressions. You're not. Nobody's nobody. All I see is motherfuckers come to me for responding. Now, if you hit me, you cannot complain about how hard I hit back. Okay. If your cousin them come still on me, don't start whining when I go when I go to town on him. Don't start you hitting him too much. No, he stole on me. You don't get to decide the response. You don't get to decide how long it goes on. You don't get to decide any of that. All you can so do so so look so it's in the jumbo tribe and yes I did use STT because it was an STT stage. He was saying it. That was just that's the light part. That's the light shit. Saying he gonna beat somebody to the ground, and and, and the, the other shit he did in unrecorded spaces, but everybody heard it. So how is it okay to talk shit on the, in a room with the hashtag? But when I respond with the hashtag with the evidence of what he's saying, I'm bringing everybody into it. No, no, his words was talking in there. Check the jumbo trying. His words, that's what he said. And then I got the personal receipts of him saying all of these things. We got the real receipts of who he was with. That's all it is to it. It don't, it, it don't take rocket science. The double standard hypocrisy shit got to stop. Hey, I look that's at, why. I, I, for, for as I'm concerned, and I'm, I'm, I'm always stand on this. For as I'm concerned, secure the tribe is a call to action. That means do something. That means get off your ass and go do something. You got to secure us. We got to secure ourselves. We got to secure these children. Get out here and do something. It's a call to action. It's telling you to do something. Okay. Well, if you got fuck boy under your call, a call to action, is that was that how you secure the tribe now? By letting little buddy get under your hashtag and come at me. That's 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 the call to action now. Uh, fuck fuck with a mortal. That's your call to action? Is it? I'm asking. I ain't putting no words in nobody's mouth. I'm asking a fucking question. Because you can't have it both ways. Right. Is it the call to action to fuck with a nigga that didn't say nothing to you? That's what I'm saying. That We're going to let clock go in just a second. But that's the thing. He had a problem with Immortal. And I tried to stay out of it. And then he gets a hollering out at me doing all this bullshit. Me and the mortal stay in the same city, same side of town. So when you say something gonna happen to him and his family, you talking about me now? You talking about me? So I, I I don't get the like I said, it's 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 hypocritical. And then everybody want to say it's about being bitter because a person don't retweet or do this or do that. But then that's why all this shit with Yaya and Tariq jumped off because they got mad because she, he wouldn't support the pull ups. So it's the, all this double standard shit, that shit got to go. Either we're going to be a call to action or we're going to be a click. We can't be both. We can't be both. And a click gets mad at people, don't fuck with people. Even if you're on the same agenda doing the same thing, I'm not going to support you. That's what clicks do. Now, a call to action says, I don't like you personally, but you're going for reparations. So I'm still going to retweet your, 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 when you go to task force meetings, I'm going to retweet your flyers because at the end of the day, it ain't about you. It ain't about me. It's about the reparations. So you either, it's, that's why, that's the question I'm asking. If it's a call to action, be that. Check him. And if I had to be the motherfucking sacrificial lamb so y'all can to raise this up, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I'm good with saying, look, that's what y'all need to stop. Because if, if he doing this and I'm doing this, that's what's good. That's where it's going to go. And if I trust me, the feds don't need as much evidence as y'all need. They just need somebody said they said something. So Look, I'm, I'm not even concerned with it. I'm not even concerned with it. Yeah, let's clock the part clock. because guess what? Guess what? I told it. I said what I said. I told about how this nigga didn't threaten my family and everybody heard it. That's op shit off top. What what are you threatening people for? Because you got immunity to do so? Okay. That ain't enough for you. I told you, motherfuckers. I said he's still Uhuru. Oh, I left in 2018. Okay, my man's just showed you him pulling up in 2021. To this day, he's uh, 
got a high position in the BMX, Black Man's Exchange, run up out of Baltimore. That's that's affinity group too, Uhuru. Nick, so he lied. So he lied. And told y'all he wasn't fucking with them no more. And he is. But he is. You don't care? Good. Good. I'm glad you don't care. Because <laughs> I'm sick with it now. I'm glad you don't care. I ain't just conscious. Quit telling me. I don't want to. I, I ain't trying to dry snitch on little buddy. Because I don't want the wrong people to hear this. I want him. I, I want. He needs the answer to black people. Not on some trumped up bullshit white supremacist charge. His crime against me is is uh, what it is. And I don't need no white supremacist to enforce consequences and repercussions behind that. I'm doing it already. That's why motherfuckers are mad. He didn't want y'all to know who the fuck he is. So if, if him pulling up pan for the last few years ain't, ain't, ain't enough for you, you don't believe it. Okay, go fuck with him then. Go go out with him and build with him and do your thing with him. And I'm going to sit back and laugh. I ain't going to laugh, though. I ain't going to laugh at you because it ain't going to be funny. Same with Naheem. I said the same thing. I was talking the same way. Oh, you can't prove it. Prove this. Prove that. Then you found out all about Trudy House. Then you shut the fuck up. Damn shame. Another thing, um, like we 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 like four and zero of exposing bullshit people. I mean, we still got to keep on having proof. Like, so what y'all waiting for us to fail? We didn't got all kind of niggas out the paint for the tribe. Zesty got zesty out the paint. We, we took 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 Naheem to stab the tribe in the back five times before niggas believed it, and he was the first nigga mad that we was getting that nigga out the paint. That's what him. That's what got him started on Immortal, because Immortal was trying to get Naheem out the paint, and he got crying mad about that shit. Prove right, because you know, because he knew. Now that I do more research, he knew that um, Naheem fucks with Narkin and Cobra. He know that, and he know that Narkin and Cobra is closer on the totem pole chain to that Soros money than the African People's Socialist Party was. So for him, that would have been like a little promotion for him to link up with with dude and get connections into into Narcan and Cobra and just do it and just keep his keep his little pan thing popping. He's gonna keep pan popping. You heard me. But it didn't work out like that because dude got exposed. Dude got exposed for working with um, Narcan and Cobra. His pull up was funded by them and all that and all this. And Sankofa was running around mad. Oh, his name ain't Sankofa. Because I got respect for the word Sankofa. That's Pankofa. That's Shanana Pankofa. That nigga. <laughs> they named that nigga. They named that nigga uh, in Kashama, which is a, um, I think that's a Filipino word of some reverence and importance. And then Sankofa, which is a concept to look back at the past so that you can understand. Um, how to move in the future, Sankofa. So I'm not disrespecting those, that concept of Sankofa. I, I, I don't have no reason to disrespect that. That's a good concept. Uh, it's not even a pan concept. It's just that anybody can use that. Look at any individual, any any nation, any ethnic group. You're supposed to look back at your past and see, ain't that what we're doing? Looking back in the past, uh, putting the pieces together so that we can know how to move to the future. So I ain't mad at, at that name, but I'm just saying that's your man's. And he's pan Kofa, meaning it ain't, he, he trying to get back to the pan where he was before, get back on that gravy train to get that work, get that money. All them articles he wrote, shit, that boy was getting paid. I wouldn't have wrote all them goddamn articles for free. And we know where we where he get his funding from. So I, I don't care if it just don't mean nothing to y'all. It will mean something when he starts threatening your family. Then it'll mean something to you. You know, 
You know how people is. They don't care if it ain't theirs, you know. So, you know, it's it's plenty for me. Like I like like I was just saying, I'm not trying to get them locked up. That's why I don't put out a lot of stuff that I that I don't pick up. Cause it, it it goes right along with what they mad about. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> this boy prolific, but I, no, I, I I ain't gonna get, I ain't gonna feed him to them. I want him. I'm gonna feed him to them. I want him. myself. Justice among black folks is much better than to give to to um what you call it um rent out your justice or, or you know. Where you get outsource your justice now. We keep our justice in in house. You know, don't need them. But I, I just find it real funny. So let's go over it again, real quick, before I shut this down. Let, let Clark get a, get to her piece, and she had her hand up for a minute. Then you can go, go shut ahead. it down. Well, I just want to say uh, to touch on what you were saying, conscious about. Uh, the evidence coming out that that case is still sealed and so we ain't gonna really know exactly what's going on until they release the discovery they unsealed the discovery and so that's what i'm personally waiting on is the discovery to come out um just because it's gonna give us a lot of information on on what they were actually doing the Uru group was actually doing um, now, in regards to these affinity groups, I'm still doing a deep dive into the affinity groups, but Narkin and Cobra, Freedmen are definitely an affinity group. Um, I, I'm almost certain that ADOS was an affinity group as well. Um, and so there's over a thousand of them. And so um, we do just got to be mindful. Again, the reason why I bring to light what's going on with the Uru movement is because really anybody that's pushing for reparations is being watched because of the Uru group indictment. And so niggas just got to be aware of that and make sure that they're moving accordingly online so that they don't get caught up in some shit that they really didn't know nothing about and they get caught up because they don't know that this is going on. And so in regards to Sankofa, brother, I would just suggest that any type of ties or you get with them and say, hey, take my my picture off your website, whatever you got to do, separate yourself from those people because it, it really is a, a serious situation, and I will say this again before I leave: the white affinity groups are the ones who told on the black affinity groups, and all in there. Hey, you got the you got that link to the BMX website, Black Men's Exchange, that Lapan affinity group. Yeah, you I put that in the jumbotron because a lot of times people, I don't know, I didn't know, I didn't know what the fuck it got to do with me that you didn't know. Nigga, I heard threatening my family. You talking about what you didn't know? I don't give a fuck what folks don't know. I know. Shit. <laughs> Put it on in there, man. That's right, folks. That, that's to this day. According to this website, to this day. But you don't fuck with a ruler. Pulling up at the, at the picnic and at the Ozone rally. They had a little rally. Uhuru did. In 2021. Yeah. And he was there talking big shit. Talking about yeah, you know, I ain't mad at him for for pulling up and doing that. But don't don't come around and fake like that ain't what you've been doing for the last five years, cuz. Don't come to the don't come to me and lie about it. See, that's why I ain't never want to fool with you in the first place. Cause if something was wrong with, with the way you was moving, that's what it was. You're trying to run from these charges. Run from them, cuz. Run from them. I don't want to see you in a cage. I want to see you in person, nigga. Uh, anyway, yeah, he's uh. Can you put that in the in the jumbotron? And if any if anybody coming to tell me what they don't believe, I you can say it. But I'm trying to get it right now. I got I got to go down your feet. Hold on. You got a job. Hey, y'all. Uh, um, so, yeah, I, of course, the only reason why I'm up here is because, um, tribe apparently is a part of this. What I'm trying to figure out is what is the expected outcome for 
tribe. Because Conscious, you were saying, you know, since it's the call to action, you were saying that the call to action was supposed to do something about what, what, is we, what are we supposed to do? According to, according to, oh, according according to, to let me answer. She asked me a question. What I'm saying is the call to action shouldn't have a uh, personality conflicts where if a person's doing work, and this is not really you because you, 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 you a hundred, uh, just let's shine you a support, you a retweet, but then we get to the it turn, it's some clickish behavior comes into the call to action when I don't like him, so I'm not gonna re- retweet his reparations work. You ain't got to retweet none of the other shit I put on there, but if I if I'm putting a link to my reparations task force. And what I said, and when I'm talking specifically about what we be talking about, lineage base and, 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 and cash payments, but people will have a personality conflict and then everybody act like they don't see it. Because I got another one coming up Wednesday and I'm going to be there saying something then too. And so it's like, so the car, it, 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 it turns into click behavior. That's why I wanted to stop. That's the end. That's the end result. I want that to stop. I want people to stop uh, saying I'm not going to support his reparation efforts in Missouri because I don't like him. When you hurting everybody, just like the, the 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 you don't want people using the tribe like this or like that. Well, don't use it to allow people to threaten and misuse and and talk shit. But then at the same token, you don't use it to support. But then at the same token, you get mad at a person that links a person that's very suspect that has actual evidence, like Cloud just said, it's a sealed indictment. We ain't gonna see to the motherfucking um, shit goes un- unsealed after people start copping deals or going to court, which the feds got a 97% conviction rate. So they're not gonna take none of this to trial. They're gonna flip, flip, flip and make deals. And we're trying to explain to y'all that I'm, I was trying to get it up on the jumbotron that in the indictment, it specifically talks about articles. And he was one of the most prolific article writers in Yahuru and the Black Man's Exchange. He's still right now. I'm trying to get it on Jumbotron, the National Outreach Coordinator. He did not take his name off of there. He didn't say, I don't want to be dealing with y'all or nothing. With Cleo Mangala, the, the whole tether. He's the second in command under him. It's only three top people. It's Cleo Mangala, Sankofa, and another female that's listed right now. I will, I'm trying to find it, but that's what it is. That's the outcome, uh, just let's shine. Let's stay a call to action. Let's support people when they do their work, because I do. You don't got to support anything else. But when I go to my task force, and then we actually, I, I actually was challenged by Sonny and KD about the wording in our reparations task force before it came out, even though I was warning people about it, about the more mayors. And then when I show up, the first one was cool, but that's when St. Kofa came out right before our task force. I mean, he came out with this shit, threatening people and doing all of this. Then lo and behold, off my first uh, task force meeting, I went to and made my first statement. He was causing the ruckus before then. So you don't got to like me. You don't got to like nothing about me but the fact that I'm stomping for reparations. And I'm giving y'all material that y'all can use. It's all transcribed word for word on my website. So why would we cut off our nose to spite our face? That's all I'm saying. So if it's a call to action, let it be that. Don't let the no, no, no clickish behavior in the call to action. And if y'all don't want people to get personal, don't let people get personal under the call to action. So that's where I'm that's that's the result I want. I want people to keep it a call to action and quit with the click behavior when it comes to the work. That's that's where I'm at. I hear you. I hear you. And it feel like deja vu. I'm not going to lie. This feel like deja vu with the April shit, to be so honest with you. Um, I don't even know. Okay. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, 
I don't have nothing. I, I genuinely just was trying to understand where the two were intersecting. Um, but but I, I hear what you're saying, so I, I'll drop it out there. Thank you for answering my question. Yeah, but that's 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 where it's intersecting though. The um don't the if we all gonna safeguard and and put and um and, and and gatekeep the hashtag, do it do it on everybody. Don't do it when people that you don't like it came for. You know what I'm saying? So that's a that's a back channel conversation. That's something that y'all need to address. And if I was the one that had to be the bad guy with the black hat to, to raise this and we can go forward and, and, and learn and grow from this, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I never really used the hashtag. That's the first time I did it. And like I said, I did that because I, I'm not going back down for what I said. He's with STT because he he calls us family, right? He's with us. That's answering the call to action. So that includes me. And he coming for me. And I want to be away from the bullshit. And I want to warn everybody. Like, dude. Like, for, some, for somebody that's that up in a, a... Okay, when you come to some new people after you've been dealing... You can have your own point of view, man. I'm just one more folks know I don't. We, me and Conscious be going back and forth, boy, that background, boy, like, uh, nah, what about this, what about that? I don't want to warn. If, if when he <clears throat> threatened my family, if that didn't warn you, if that wasn't a warning unto you, whoever you are, be you friend, be you enemy, if that didn't click something in your head and say, oops, this man just... Damn, that's that's pretty venomous to be saying to a man that you never met, never never said anything hostile towards you, nothing. Just didn't ever want to be bothered with you. Just never wanted to associate with you. That's all. That's my crime. Right, and murder. But you never know, we wouldn't actually see that like that. It, you know, what we saw was y'all getting into it over some emojis, right? So uh, that being a warning, it wasn't. It wasn't else, y'all. That's not going. That's not how that's going to drink. Honestly, I hear what y'all are saying, and I appreciate conscious even saying that about the the call to action as far as keeping it about the work because it's sad because genuinely it looks like. Y'all are the ones doing that to the hashtag, genuinely. And it, it's like I would, I, I wish I, you, and not even that I wish I had all of those details. I genuinely wish I wasn't involved. Conscious, you know, I hate getting into these. I, I hate when this type of. I hate infighting. Period. That's why I just don't even focus on the infighting for the most part. But that's. It, what you guys are saying is what it looks like y'all are doing. That's that's why this is so hard so, to walk around. So now I'm at a loss to understand. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do when I'm contacted in my inbox and somebody says, oh, it looks like you blocked my main account. And I, and I look and I say, yeah, I meant to block it, but don't take it personal. And then they curse me out. And then when they go into the room after cursing me out, I hit a laugh emoji. And now my family is being threatened. And so now I'm supposed to do what? Protect your family. Am I supposed to be quiet? Absolutely. I'm never going to tell you not to protect your family. Okay. There you go. There you go. By any means necessary, right? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Now, I didn't start that. I didn't want it. I didn't start it. I just wanted to be away from him, you know? So I, I, that's why I don't like when well, that's y'all. No, that's him. That's him. And I gave him three or four different opportunities to walk that back. Even if he didn't mean it, he could have walked that back. He lied about everything else. He should. He could have lied about that, but his pride was too high for that. So that's why I'm asking, tell what the is the expected tell, tell that lie. Because... If if this is if this well, is the means of protecting your family, I'm not going to step into your way. But I don't understand where Secure the Tribe comes in. Well, it's in the jumbotron, sis. So if you look into the jumbotron where Secure the Tribe comes in, now I didn't. I felt like we shouldn't use the hashtag at all and all that. But he made the point, and I don't disagree. He made the point that look, it was, uh, say you want to keep the hashtag out of it. He didn't look at this space. Now, that's a that's a space. When you look at that recording right there, that's a space. It says 
uh, Toxic Film, Gatekeeper, Karma, and Envious Thieves. Guess that's supposed to be us. It's got the STT hashtag right there. And then I see people in there, one of which is uh, Pan Kofa, talking about uh, what they, how he's going to try to run and beat us down. This is like the fifth time that he uses language that I could, that I'm going to take as a threat. I don't care what nobody else take it as. So there's the, there's the hashtag in a space with him talking about what he's going to beat down on conscious and, and run me down and beat and, and all that. So that's where they come in at. So if, if it can be used, so if we're going to, you're either going to safeguard it and don't allow it to be used for fuck shit, or it's going to be in the middle of some fuck shit. You see what I I'm saying? You. And, and the reason why I keep saying this sounds like the thing with April is because Conscious did a similar thing where he was just talking and, and, and she turned it into he's threatening the lives of black Americans. Because he he mentioned the January Sixers, not that he actually threatened anybody or actually, you know what I'm saying? But because he mentioned the January Sixers, she had kind of flipped it into this whole big old thing. So that was why not and not that that's what y'all are doing, but that was why I was asking, because in that scenario, when I was trying to even understand what was going on, there were more there was more back channel than front channel. And then she had just sent a bunch of us to conscious. And then that turned into a whole nother thing. Cause people didn't know conscious well enough to, you know what I'm saying? It was, it, it was, she had, she has spiraled it completely out of control. And so that is why I'm asking. Um, but. Well, in this case, in this case, that, that young man said, something's going to happen to a mortal. Not, and he, I'm telling you what he said. He said, something's going to happen to a mortal. He was hot and heavy and mad. He said, not if something's going to happen to a mortal. It went into on, on, and I'm like, hey, man, what you think is, what, what you talking about? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, your mama. This and that, this and that. Yeah. Man, oh, I got the, I got the kid, said my kid, said my sibling, said all that. Fuck y'all. Is something going to happen to going to happen? That was the first time. So how am I? Am I? I'm supposed to be confused. Now hold up! I got the article in the um, jumbotron. Now, if he did this himself, why didn't he tell them to take himself, take him down, take himself down off of the uh, off of the uh, leadership team? Why would he? I yeah. <laughs> he has no reason to ask to be taken down. Uh, uh, oh, until tribes see it, then he'll have a reason to take down. <laughs> Lying motherfucker. Anyway. Uh, and also, uh, job when we was in the room and going back and forth, I said some mean things to him. Just like he had said some mean things about my family. I got triggered. I said some mean things to him. And people was trying to calm us down and people was trying to, you know, get us to chill. And, I, and I'm, I was telling him, I was like, no, nah, but he just threatened my family. And, and, some, and you know what he said? He said, well, you threaten my kids. I said, dude. You ain't even got no kids. He said, you didn't know that. I, so, wish, it I, wish, I wish to God it was recorded. So this little motherfucker just antagonizing me. Hold on, let's get to the, to the website. You click on there and click BM, where BMX King. He's still sitting right there. Coordinator outreach. Second in command. With that same Baltimore dashiki on. That same dashiki. Do I have to find something and put it in the jumbotron? the night before the very first reparations hearing in St. Louis, what he was doing on the timeline, talking about, I'm going to run down your favorite drunk uncles. That, that's what he was doing the night before our reparations here. So he's here to do something. And it ain't to build. It, it, I don't, it, I'm convinced. I don't care who else ain't convinced. You know, but anyway, that, that little dude said, you threatened my my kids. I said, nigga, you ain't got no kids. Cuz I said, you didn't know that. I bust, I bust out a story laughing. I said, y'all, yeah, man, I, I'm trying not to take this little dude serious. That was the first night. Another time I encountered him in the space. Tried to come to him respectfully. We was at odds, but I wasn't disrespecting him. He 
double down on his threats. Yeah, I see it. Something going to happen to you. Yeah, I'm throwing candles in the river. Man, I don't believe no candles. Even if he did throw a candle in the river, my blood and soil is from these rivers. My body is the mud of these fucking rivers. I've lived along the banks of the Mississippi River most of my life. I've swam in the creeks and in, 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 the, in the tributaries. I just came from dry. I swam two miles up that fucking river, the Huzah River in Missouri. I, you threw something in a river for me? You hurting yourself. <laughs> I'm cool with the spirits of the rivers. So enough of that. So I don't give a fuck about no candles being thrown in no fucking river. What I do give a fuck about is this is the international headquarters of uh, Uhuru, of the, uh, and in their ranks here, you're going to find three different classes of people. You're going to find some boules. They handle the money. Then you're going to find the police. They handle the recruiting. Then you're going to find goofies. They don't know no better than to fuck with these people. And they the ones end up always going to jail and shit like that. And I know he's still a member in good standing. And he made, I know for a fact that he made a phone call here. Now, I ain't been to the headquarters yet. Because if I go to the headquarters, the boy going to be in more trouble than it's worth. Y'all don't know how much grace me and Conscious having on this boy. Y'all don't know how much grace we having on the little dude. But that grace going to run out. It's running out quickly. And anybody that's complicit with that shit, that grace running out quickly. We don't, I, I, a lot of shit I don't even put out because I don't even want to be trying to seen as helping the, the government's case. They got a bogus case. I ain't trying to help it. But at the same time, don't fuck with me, nigga. And nigga, stop asking me to prove shit. I told you. Look in the jumbo trunk. That's what he's here for. What you hear him talking about. That's his call to action. So that's where I'm at with it. If you don't, if, if Security Tribe ain't got nothing to do with it, I love that. I love that. I'm always calling a call to action. I don't care what nobody do. I don't care if they do act clickish. It's still going to, I'll never uh, say anything else. It's a call to action. Now, what's the, what's the, what's the, what was the call to action that day? That's what I want to know. In that space, what was the call to action? And toxic feminine, y'all know to toxic feminine do that every time. Before that, we was talking. Before that, y'all was talking about toxic femininity when we did the when we did the drunk uncle things. Like, I, and not to, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm not gonna tell you not to recognize nothing as a threat, but if I, that was the space. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I get it. I get it. I um. It, it it is what it gotta be. My I was just you know, I I hate the way that it's looking oh, towards Florida though. I do I do hate that it's, but y'all already heard this from from everybody else as far as you know the rest of the family down in Florida. But that's that's genuinely the only thing. That's genuinely the only hey. thing. Hey, right, look, listen, listen. The thing to do. If you don't want to look bad from running with a person like him, but you want to do that, but you don't want to look bad. Number one, tell your boy, <laughs> don't never, never, never fuck with Immortal Melanie. Just don't. Just leave him alone. What did he say to you? He said he don't want to bother with me. He said he blocked me on purpose, but don't take it personal. Do that. Do exactly that. Don't take it personal and go on about your Go on about your life. That's the thing. And we it, talk to him. Every time we talk to him, he like, y'all, I'm sorry I involved y'all in this. I'm a deal, you know, we I'm just not even gonna he, he won't speak because it's it's falling on everybody else. So it, it ain't not like nobody that's but even my myself, I'm the end of like, what the hell going on? You and I had to check not, myself, like, you know, that's y'all personal thing, but he he's not he's trying not to involve any of us but you know what I, it's like 
The, it, okay. My thing, my, I come? know when I first heard about the con, when I first heard about what was going on, oh, my fault, go. Yeah, yeah, no. When I first heard about what was coming on, it was because Sankofa felt like, because it's not that I don't, I'm, you know, don't want to look bad for running with him or nothing like that. I'm standing by the work, point blank, period. I, I'm personally disheartened that the day a mortal went in front of that task force, got it on tape and video, we was talking about this situation instead of highlighting the fact that y'all had went up there once again, right? So I'm I'm standing with the work. Why I came is because I feel like the the family in Florida, regardless if Sankofa's with him or not, um, I have no reason to believe that Sonny Mark or Sister Melinda are not serious about what's going on. I have no reason to believe Sonny Mark and Sister Melinda aren't are incapable of vetting that man. And I have no reason to believe that they will put themselves in dangerous way de- de- dealing with them, in all honesty. I haven't seen any of, as far as us seeing them around each other and them knowing each other, because I'm not going to be in close proximity of Sankofa. He's in Florida. Y'all not going to be in pro- pro- close proximity of Sankofa. Is San Kofi. Y'all in Missouri. He's in Florida. So the family in Florida. Yeah. So. My fault. Yeah. So the family in Florida, I I I I have to trust them when it comes to the Florida fight. I can't I can't stand up and be like, I don't feel like immortal and conscious are on the straight and I'm gonna take over the the, the Missouri reparations scene. I'm gonna take over the St. Louis scene because I don't I can't do that. I can only support y'all focusing on your community. So that that's where I got confused was because where did the I, not even where I'm not asking. I, what I'm saying is what alarmed me was when the Florida family got involved into this specific discussion because that that committee that they put together I know y'all know that's about the work I know y'all know that's about the work now as far as the clickish behavior okay if, if I get that we I have I I got friends at the end of the day when it come to Vino last one sister Nick pretty much everybody from the Texas pull up I think I've I've been more uh, emotional about, not even necessarily emotional, but I think I've shown a lot of my emotions behind them and the the things that's been going on with them as far as the Texas people, because I met them in person and I shook their hands, I hug them. We did the pull up together. We broke bread together. A lot of them then, you know, broke bread with my baby girl. I get that. So if it, if it comes up, you know, I get the whole click thing. We done made friends, but I know y'all know that that committee is about to. I, how did I? I, I just don't. The only, thing I got, the only thing I got to say about that committee is that that was my idea. He stole it. <laughs> That's all. And then you know what? Since he doesn't know what to do with it, he can have it. He can go on. I'm not gonna say nothing about it because he doesn't know what to do with it. He stole my idea. He knows he did. I don't have to prove it. If me and him know, I don't have to prove that to anybody. Me and him know. Let's but, just so that so whatever they do with it, we'll see if it's about to work. We'll see. Hopefully they'll put their own spin on it. And when I had envisioned it, some of the people I guess that's involved with it in Florida, I was gonna ask them myself for my idea to be involved in it. But I guess he had to, you know jump the gun and do that himself so he's done it he's doing it it was my idea i don't have to lie to anyone about it um and he so he can go on with that now the only way that i know that um, anybody else out of florida is involved in anything that i got going on with little buddy is because they keep jumping in it they keep having something to say about it for example, you making you making us look bad and make him look like a rat. 
Well, cuz, if what I'm putting out makes him look like a, a rat or makes him look like something, and I'm not lying, and I'm giving facts, I'm showing people what he wanted people to know for decades. But now all of a sudden, you in the last uh, nine months, you don't want nobody to know this. No, nah, you threaten my life so everybody get to know the public information that you put out. I'm not doxing him. All stuff I put out there is public information that he wanted you to know, but until he didn't. So if if anybody want to associate is uh, with anybody, whoever they want to, that's on you how he look. He threatened my family. So I'm not obligated to maintain y'all friendships. I'm not obligated to take that into consideration at all because you're friends with him. Threaten my family. And, and, and I don't hear these same people who are saying, uh, well, if you talk about him that way, you know we're working with him. That makes us look bad. I don't see them people uh, talking, telling, they don't come to me and say, that was fucked up what he said about your family, man. That was fucked up, man. And, and it shouldn't have went down like that. They don't say that to me. They just come tell me I'm making them look bad because of what I'm saying about little buddy. Well, hey, that's uh, uh, it. Uh, hold on, because I'm going to ask her other question. Wait a minute. She had another good point. Mm, damn, I, I lost it. Go ahead. Now. Well, I just want to also remind that people don't be looking at the fact that now it's a big hubbub, but when it was staying just on him, like Immortal said, people still was saying, why are you coming at him? Before a nigga even used the hashtag, this same thing was came to us. So if you're going to come to me about it and I don't use it, I mean, well, fuck. I'm like, I'm like a badass kid. If I'm going to get in trouble anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like if y'all if going to come at me about me getting personal with them and y'all still not listening, and then just to be totally honest, like it'd be so much double standard shit. It's like, oh, y'all need to mind y'all stay. Oh, I don't see niggas showing up to the reparations meeting. You hold people accountable. Then when the niggas that show up to the reparations meeting, you don't even retweet it. But then y'all y'all jumped out the window on Tariq because he wouldn't support the pull ups, and that's okay. So it's not okay for me to get mad about the work, but it's okay for her to. It's okay for him to talk crazy under the hashtag, but it's not okay for me even to point him out because he's rolling with you. And then I now I got to double down and actually use the hashtag and then bring everybody into it because sometimes family discussions do need everybody into it. Sometimes the one-on-one -on -one shit is not going to get handled. So like I said, all the, he's lying to everybody. If he was with us and doing a call to action and he, and he know he ain't paying no more, why he ain't say, pull my face off that BMX national site? I'm not fucking with y'all. I'm not doing what y'all doing. Why he holding that position? Why he keeping the bridge open? And as far as that, that, that that's another thing. Me, I never did nothing to a buddy. And those ideas, me and him was talking one on one, and we and and we formulated this coalition thing. And Immortal was mad at me because he was we was in a brainstorming set stage, and people that don't fuck with me, like Kiana and everybody else who don't fuck with me, he was shopping that idea to them, and he got mad because I found out he was shopping the idea that wasn't fully formed, because there's no reparations task force in um in uh in go up in the space with the family this nigga going around stays shopping around my idea word for word this, this motherfucker's back. I'm like god damn it I immediately called I said conscious do you know he needs something on Kiana I got an idea why don't we do this and do it like this I said wait a minute that's that's my words my language that's all I said damn <laughs> I said damn but that's the way it is and uh, uh, I ain't mad because if I really wanted that idea, I should have kept it to myself until I was ready to release it. So I don't blame nobody, you know, that's on me that he that he got my little my little idea. I got I got a, I got I got a dozen more, so it ain't no big deal. He don't know what to do with that one. So it ain't no big deal. Um but I, I still don't like it. <laughs> it ain't no big deal. I'm not gonna try to mess up what they do with that. But just know that. And I don't have to lie about it. I'll be damned if I get on here and lie. And I don't have to. I'll be damned if I get on here and lie about any of this shit. 
I don't have to. Yeah. So yeah, that's how that went. Uh, yeah, me and me and Conte went back and forth about it. I was like, God damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Now he got some of the people I wanted to be involved with my idea mad at me because I'm going in on him for threatening me. Shit crazy, boy. This internet shit crazy. A ladder climb. Because, like, didn't nobody do nothing to him, very gracious to him. And then all of a sudden, he just put vitriol on me out of the out of, out of by, by part way because him and immortal because he got blocked then you come out with all this vitriol and doing all of this stuff that seems like something that somebody that's infiltrating see that's the only mistake i made i didn't curate that tweet and i should have said he infiltrated if i had said infiltrated instead of the word with will we be here i think we still would be yeah because when april did it they hopped on up April said the same thing. Kanja didn't infiltrate. Yaya didn't infiltrate. She said, "All oh, y'all infiltrated tribe too." That's why I'm, this is such. It's, but it it happens. It come with it. But yeah, no, it, you right. It would have still been a conversation. I don't remember in that April situation nobody coming out talking about something going to happen to you. Something going to definitely happen. April to you, said, your mama conscious your... threatened her life." Oh, but Conscious never exactly. said that. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying that's that's how she had came out with it, though. She came out with Conscious, then he threatening black women, y'all not protecting black women, this, that. She had did a whole thing. That's why I'm like, man, please don't let this be that shit again. And we're not going to, not me, let me speak for myself. I'm not going to cry wolf, and I'm not going to sell no wolf tickets. But that's just me. You have to, I guess, if you don't know me, you might not know that. No, y'all haven't moved. I, I, and this is the thing. It's it's not like I'm I'm not questioning the validity of anything. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like y'all have a lot of me. <laughs> I don't feel like you have a reason to lie to me. You either, y'all y'all not going to lie to me. I, I'm not even asking questions where you have to lie. We're not even in a situation where y'all would have to lie. I, I hear what you're saying. I just... When I came, I came because, and I get it now, now that y'all have explained it, because I do remember when it was just about Sankofa, as far as like the tweets and the interactions and stuff like that. And it was just about, you know, pretty much explaining what he had said. Um, and because at first I remember we was all like, it was a laughing emoji. And then y'all had to kind of catch all of us up because we was looking slow. Um, but it's just I'm y'all know I'm just I'm just here for the word. I'm I'm never I'm not gonna tell you none of that. I'm I have I have no opinion. I that's not my that's not my place, I personally feel. I'm just I was just worried about the work, but based off what you just said, Immortal, um, I have to respect that response that we will we will see. We will see. Me personally, I'm respecting it all the way across the board. I'm going to keep retweeting y'all stuff because regardless of what's going on on this app, there are black Americans in St. Louis that need to be out there with y'all. Um, I'm retweeting everything that the, the Florida committee does. I'm, you know, I'm sorry, Mordo, I really didn't know that part of the story. I really didn't, but I'm going to keep pushing it because I, I, at the end of the day, what happened in California, I just can't see that shit happen again, bro. Honestly, I'm doing the same thing with I didn't I didn't literally move back to Michigan. I feel like I need to take the reins <laughs> of my hometown. I don't trust them to do it without me being here. Um, so I, I'm a I'm a I'm a bow out. I'm a pay my respects. I appreciate both of y'all for even listening to me. Um, cause that's I'm I'm not here to do none of that. Um, y'all know I y'all know I ride for tribe. I love tribe. Um, and I love the work that we do with tribe. Um, and y'all having that, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all showed that respect. Y'all already said, y'all know we do work, things of that nature, but this conversation, you know what I'm saying? And, and I got to respect that it, you need eyes right now and you need people to be aware of what's going on right now. Um, and anytime any of us have information that we want the family to know, we always disseminate it out. Now the wording I feel could have been different. I do personally, but. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put my own foot in my mouth, you know what I'm saying, and sit here and, and try to reprimand y'all for words you say. Y'all grown men, y'all know what y'all you know, y'all grown men with families at that. Um, I'm I'm not your mom's, but yeah, I'm just worried about the work. Um, I'm a bow out. I appreciate it. I had came from I didn't even know your space was going on. I had went in Sunny's space and I saw y'all space. I knew it was I knew they had to do with each other. So I came over here because, you know, I, I at least wanted to hear it from you. I didn't want to hear nobody else giving their understanding of what y'all may be saying because y'all are, y'all know how to articulate yourselves. I feel like you can talk for yourself. So um, I just pulled up. But I, I, I appreciate y'all answering my questions, though. Um, yeah, that's, that's all. I ain't going to drag it. I appreciate that. Everybody else, y'all make family, everybody in here, make sure y'all drink some water. Right on, sis. Right on. For even if you don't agree with everything we say, we appreciate you being um, objective and actually listen to the things that we're saying. A lot of people ain't even listening. They don't. They don't even hear it. You know, it goes in one ear out the other, and all they know is the the narrative that they want to spin. You know, so I appreciate you. I'm gonna go ahead and close on on that note. I think we didn't said enough. Uh, I'm gonna let you get the last word, conscious, real quick, and then I'm gonna shut it down. All right, then, in that case, I'm going to leave it at that. For my, for my boy. Yeah, so um, I know we're uh, talk of the town, so it's a whole space right now. Uh, Lodge is, is to go. I'm not going in there. It's this Lodge Scope of Fact. If I can't... Uh, or, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this space called? Logic over Fact. Shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Say that one more time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's... Over facts, logic over facts. Wow. Okay. So, 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 and I and I'm gonna leave it at that. Logic over facts. Uh. <laughs> so, 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 right there. Logic is facts. What? How, can, how can you how can you gain how can you understand that you're being logical if you don't have any facts? They don't go against each other; they complement one another. You logically use deduction to come to, you know, <laughs> an understanding based on facts. Anyway, so, like I'm, I said, I'm not going to go. <laughs> I'm going to college, Charlie. Yeah, if, it, if I'm the bad guy, I don't got a. Because at the end of the day, you can't miss what you never had. I done went down all the time. I know who supported me. I done, on the first one, Katie supported that one. Uh, you, you just the time you second time around, you but then the second time around with all the dust kicked up with St. Copa, everybody decided not to support the work in St. Louis. And I'm going to shout to because I have a very hard problem getting the word out here. So if, I, if people that's calling me family don't want to support me because a personality conflict, then y'all really don't want reparations. Like I said, <laughs> and he tweet, neither one are speeches. Neither one. So what logic is that? That's a fact. It's all good, man. Because I don't, I, you, you look at it different. I look at it the same way. I'll be saying the same shit over and over and over and over. I look at the same way. I look at this Tariq shit. Why do we want, if, if they don't want to support us, why would we want to kind of pressure people who don't want to support us into doing so? I don't need no hater support. If they don't like me, if there's a problem like that, to where you say, fuck everybody in St. Louis, that's old reparations, fuck them niggas in St. Louis, all of us? Because you, you don't like me? Okay, all right, well, cool. Stay there, stay that way. Stay mad. Stay in that zone. Stay the fuck away from me. Because there's plenty of people out here that want to get the work done. You know, so uh, you know, I ain't losing nothing. You know, personally, that's the way I feel about it. You know, but anyway, I'm I'm, I'm, finna, I'm finna end this and uh, get some work done. All right, peace, fam.